Hello everyone, it's Tail here, and uh, welcome to a new Silent Hunter 3 patrol in the 10th Flotilla. Uh, the date, according to this, is the 25th of May. Uh, so I'm assuming that's when we'll be uh, leaving, or sometimes the calendar kind of moves forward when you actually get into the boat, so who knows, didn't want to look, click on that. Where's my logbook? No. Logbook. Is this it? Yes. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Where's the... Uh, where's the patrol thing? I want to look at the patrols. Oh, I don't know. Is this it? Yes. So, patrol 6 technically is actually patrol 5 because I cocked up with uh, one of the resupply boats one time. We arrived back on the 23rd of May, so I'd say that it's unlikely we'll be heading out again two days after we got back after a two and a half month patrol. But there we go. Um, let's see, so I haven't really got enough renown to upgrade anything particularly. Let's just check out torpedo load out here, so we've got type 3s. Um, as usual, I think I'm going to mix things up a little bit here. So we'll have a mixture of type 3s and type 1s. Maybe I should get um, one of the pattern torpedoes as well. That could be interesting. Type 3, Type 3, Type 3. That'll do. I'll leave the rear torpedoes as they are. What have we got? We've got uh, side of a convoy, blah, blah, blah. 100 renown, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. I think I'll probably just stick with uh, what I've got. Um, yeah. And all my awards will be given out, no promotions or anything like that, so we're all good. Okay, where are we heading? We're going to GP35. I guess that's going to be somewhere fairly low down at the uh, bottom of the, the bottom of the sea. No, the southern area of the Atlantic. Um, what's the news? News for June 1943. US Marines land on New Georgia. 17 new boats lost for 76,090 tons of Allied shipping. Okay, well, nothing more to do at port, so I guess we'll get on with it. There's a couple of changes I've made to some of the mods, so I'll explain that when we get in. I'll see you in the boat! Hello, my faithful friend in the boat. We're back in the boat, in port, in Lorient. What is the date? It's July the 18th, 1943. So the calendar did skip ahead. It's now midsummer, and we're heading out on another goddamn patrol. Let's go. Ein Drittel fahrt voraus. Farewell, my friends. Probably won't be back for like two months or more. My faceless comrades and lady folk. Okay, so I have made a couple of changes to the mods. There's been a new version of the Manos. Is it Manos? I think. I think it is Manos. Manos, the hand of fate. Um, the Manos environment mod. I've also tweaked the NVIDIA settings a little bit as per suggestions made on the Subsim forum. And I don't know, it seems to make things a little bit more fuzzy and kind of soft focus. So I'm not sure. Maybe it'll grow on me. Uh, let's see, where are we going to? GP35. Where in God's name is that? GG. Holy shit! As far south as is it possible to go with the uh, German uh, map system. GP35, what the hell am I going to find all the way down here? Here. What? What? Maybe traffic from South Africa to South America? Holy shit, that's a long way to go. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, well... Who am I to argue with BDU? 
maybe I should t keep an eye on where I'm actually going here so I'm willing to land. Do, do, do. Um, I checked with Silent Hunter Commander and the long awaited transfer opportunity to the Far East is due to occur in September 1943. So. Let's see, we're in July now, so if I survive this patrol, get back to base, the next patrol would probably be um, a uh, relocation to the East Indies, which will be interesting. GP35. Still can't quite believe I'm going all the way down here, but what the hell. Uh, let's make sure I don't run into any islands in the middle of nowhere. Do, do. Maybe we can fiddle this a bit like that. Okay. Let's get our crew sorted. My watch crew in action. What else do we have? Uh, everything else can stay the same. I'm going to replace these two guys for the moment so they don't get too tired on the journey out. And uh, that's that. We, uh, we're off skis. So not much more to say right now. Uh, at least I don't think there is. No, nope, can't think of anything. I will uh, skip ahead here as I journey out of the port. And I'll um, give you a sit rep. Probably when I, or if I manage to get to the end of the Bay of Biscay without meeting any aircraft or other nasty things. So, see you then. Time for a situation report. I have crossed the Bay of Biscay uneventfully. Didn't spot anything. No uh, radar warnings or anything like that. Don't know why it is, but um, aircraft activity seems to have uh, dropped off. Obviously it shouldn't do, uh, especially this late in the war. Maybe it's the time compression I'm using to kind of get it across, like 128, 256 times time compression. Maybe that's why I'm not spotting planes, but um, we have spotted a ship. But they are neutral. So, obviously nothing to shoot at, so let's get a closer look. They are Swedish, I think. Looks like it. Swedes. Well, I'm gonna... Whoa, okay. One of them is an enemy ship. Now, is that not interesting? Okay. Let's submerge as quick as we can. Could be good. Uh, it looked like it was a bit of a tiny ship, though, not very big, so I'm not sure if it's worth our while. But uh, I guess we can take a look. Let's point ourselves this way. Stop. Have a gander. Yeah, it looks pretty small, like a maybe small merchant or coastal freight or something like that. Not sure if it's worth a torpedo, to be honest. Let's wait till it gets a bit closer. Maybe it's worth one. Let's try and identify it. Whoops. Shit. Don't 
don't think it's a coal freighter. Uh, oh, now we're getting into the big ships. Maybe it is a coal freighter, but it's only got two masts. Could it be a Lippy One Park type tanker? I'm not sure. I don't think so. It doesn't have the horizontal bits coming from the masts there. What are you? Maybe it is a, a coal thingy, mother wop. No, it's got three masts. This one doesn't have three masts. I must have gone past it at some point. What in God's name is this thing? It looks really familiar, like just a... Maybe... Am I blind? It does have the horizontal things coming out. Okay, I think it might be a coal freighter in that case. Where'd it go? Coal, coal... Do, do, do. Uh, no, it's not that. Oh, cocking hell. I don't know what this is. I don't care. I need to identify it to take a shot. I'm running out of time here. No. It must be a Nippy One Park type freighter. That's the only thing. Or tanker. That's all I, anything I can uh, think of. Okay, let's do this then. So we take the mast height, which is about five. Stick this to the top. I think it's just a little bit above five, so we'll do that. Length, uh, height, sorry, mast height, 201.8. It's about there ish. It puts it about 1400 kilometers. About there. Uh, we take that reading. Move it to the length, 78.5, just about there-ish. And horizontal marks is 12. 12 marks puts it just under 40 degrees angle on bow. Like so. I'm doing this without notes, by the way. I think I may have finally worked out how to work the spinny thing without needing my precious notes. These things are moving fast, according to the Hydrophone Man. Uh, that's about 13 knots. Oh, 13 seconds, sorry. So we take... Oh, shit, I can give my notes for speed. I've forgotten. Blah, blah, blah. Time along takes. Line up time on mid-outer dial. 13. The ship length. Like so. 12 knots! Really? That is fast. I guess it must be. 12 knots, really? I mean, theoretically it's possible. This guy's quite big though. Well, I'm just going to have to trust the reading. I have no choice. Uh, I need to wait till it gets to about 340. Now he's going to be about 600 meters away, so I'm going to adjust the distance here that. What do we have? Let's use a type 3 magnetic. The draft is 7.5. 5, 6, 7, 5 there. So put this at 8. Okay. Whoops. I think I may have just popped past when I, uh... Yes, he did. Shit. Oh, well. 
Entfernung gleich bleiben. First torpedo of patrol is go. It's not going to take very long to get there. 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Quit your blabbing. Let's see how we do. Just some two and a half thousand tons, so it's not a massive ship, but nothing to sniff at. Oh god. Is this just gonna go? I think it will. I think it will. Boom! Fuck you! You're going down, nippy one. Fantastic. That's a good start. Let's get out of here. Excellent. Always good to start off patrol with a successful impact. And, uh, easy two and a half thousand tons there. Stick in the, the logbook. Here's his little neutral friend. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to make my escape. Obviously, I don't have to worry about destroyers or anything like that, but uh, probably best to leave the area. Just in case any aircraft decide to show up and see what's going on. Hopefully, I'll catch the sinking animation when that turns up. Where are you? Sinking box. Oh, is it gone? Or maybe it's just not picking up because it's not actually an active uh, ship. Got here somewhere. Here he is. Yeah, he's going down, slowly but surely. Come on. He's taking his time. Didn't, uh, if the game didn't say ship destroyed straight away, then uh, I'd have been sat here for a while waiting for it to sink. I may, may have um, had to put in an extra torpedo to put it out of its misery if it was real life. But it's a game, and the game tells me when a ship has been sunk. Look, it's a barrel! Hopefully this uh, patrol will be a barrel of laughs. What a rusty barrel. Okay. So I'm going to continue onwards my pre-planned course after that unscheduled interruption. And uh, I will come back to you when something else happens.